Hello everyone, welcome back for some more thrift store finds. Uh, I didn't do a video yesterday, so today's going to be a combination of what we found yesterday and today. Not a whole lot of changeovers these last few days, and I feel like tomorrow is hopefully going to be a bunch of new stuff. Probably the last truck coming in later today or tomorrow, we'll see. Uh, the way they were talking it seems like just about wrapping up, so hopefully tomorrow is going to be really, really good. And then head back at some point on Saturday for the last day and just kind of go through whatever is there hopefully well it depends on what it looks like tomorrow definitely whether or not anything new is going to come or that could be it and then maybe not go back Saturday we shall see but we are coming to the end it's really really sad but uh, we'll see so going to start with another pile of DVDs and a couple of blu-rays and a whole bunch of other stuff including the funny thing is the best Thing that I got today was actually not from there, so we'll get to that. Uh, starting off with on Blu-ray, we have Medea's Witness Protection. I don't understand why people like some, you know, select people like these movies, these Tyler Perry movies, but whatever. Uh, then we have Friends of Benefits, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, The Lucky One, Life as We Know It, Mona Lisa Smile. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2, P.S. I Love You, About a Boy, Annie, the Anniversary Edition, the 80s one that is by far my favorite version of Annie, uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, 10 Things I Hate About You, The Wedding Planner, Heartbreakers, I Love You Man, American Beauty, Due Date, uh, this is Rick Brickman, no idea who Rick Brickman is, but it's Rick Brickman at the Magic Kingdom, the Disney songbook, interesting, so I have no idea who that is, we'll have a look at that, and then we have No End in Sight, another Denzel Washington uh, thriller action movie, Out of Time, we got a whole bunch of those lately, Bend It Like Beckham, a different version of Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. It's a different release than the other one. The Family Stone. Kangaroo Jack Gooday USA. Looks like this is an animated one. I never knew there was even more than one of these. The first one was bad enough. I never knew they made sequels to that. Uh, the Da Vinci Code, the two disc edition. Miss Congeniality, Deluxe Edition. This is actually a really funny movie. Uh, the first one is at least House Bunny. Just go with it, a little version of that. And then we have uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, The Island of Misfit Toys, his merriest musical adventure yet. And then a small stack of sealed ones, I'll put those a little separately. We have Boyhood, a Blu-ray DVD combo, and Tom Hardy in Capone. Speed Racer, the best of Speed Racer. The Family. Chick Fight, and The Unfamiliar. So those, and then some more book finds, a ton more music CDs. I guess I'll do these CDs next here. So we have a bunch in the store, and we were never huge on a lot of music in, in the past um, on any of our platforms, really. It was always much more books and movies and TV shows. That was more of our, our thing. But we have a lot of music CDs up now, just because we've been getting so many and a big variety. Uh, it's such a great you know price and a huge quantity that now we have a bunch more up on the store. Uh, Stephanie Bentley, Hope Chest. Garth Brooks, a two-disc set. Uh, David Craig. Classical Praise, Christmas. Got a bunch of random kind of Christmas ones. Uh, Point of Grace, another one of their albums. Uh, Chris Botti. Some Dixie Chicks. Barbara Streisand, Merry Christmas. Trisha Yearwood, Home for the Holidays. In Sync Celebrity. Sarah Evans, Born to Fly. And Christmas. Um, In the Air by Chip Davis, some Leanne Rhymes, and some John Mayer, 
Christmas with Babyface. 98 Degrees this Christmas. And Michael McDonald's Christmas and Winter album. And then for the books, I mean, we got Lizzie for President, Lizzie McGuire, Charlie Bone and the Invisible Boy, The Candy Shop War, that sounds like a fun time, Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, on a bridge, kind of kids book selection version, Pippi Longstocking, uh, The Mystery Files of Shelby Wu, Behold the Mystery, A Deeper Understanding of the Catholic Mass, Closed for the Season, School of Fear, some Curious George, and then this box set of the Princess Diaries collection. So a nice little box set of that. Good to, to add all that stuff. And that was all really good because all that was like 20 bucks, I think, a little bit under $20. That was a pretty good morning. And a few other things. We have The Wizard of Oz, The Game. Uh, this is complete in pretty good condition. And then a couple other odd things we found. This Britney Spears Fantasy, a few of these that were in really good condition, like boxes, completely brand new, sealed, not expired or anything. So like, all right, we'll grab a few because they're so cheap. Um, they sell for a lot more than we paid, but fragrances and lotions, just this, this pack. So I got a, a handful of those for about like a, a quarter to a third of what they'll sell for. So like, all right, I'll grab those, kind of an oddball thing. And then the one thing here, which I will definitely be going a little more in depth talking about on the other channel, because it is Star Trek related, but we'll take a quick look here. This actually was something my mom found. I was at her house today, also moving some furniture and helping her with some stuff around the house. And she had been out thrift shopping, I think with some friends, and she, cause she goes out a lot to thrift stores, and she found something and was like, oh here, here's something for helping us out. And she found, this is fantastic, the, a Star Trek telephone, an old landline of the original Enterprise, completely in the box. That is awesome. And she's like, oh, you can have it or sell it. And it's like, I could sell it and make some money, but it's Star Trek. So it's staying here. It is home now with me. Anything Star Trek. And this is really cool. Uh, something Star Trek that it's an, it's an oddball thing, something that we definitely don't have in the collection. And also just having, you know, a, a phone from an era when I grew up with before cell phones is always just kind of nostalgic fun anyway. So let me pull this out. I'll get another quick look and then I'll pull the whole thing out of the packaging. We have all the, the cords. Hook the whole thing up. And the base. Really nice. Let me get the stick the little thing on here. Now how cool is that? That is awesome. So yeah, I'll definitely the little numbers and everything on the side there. Take a little bit of a deeper look at that on the other channel. But yeah, just that is really cool. Like that's so fun. I love when they have these kind of oddball ones that they have for different telephones. There's where the Garf the Garfield one and the like the hamburger one were really popular. A whole bunch of different ones. So this was just that's awesome. That's fun. So that is definitely the, the highlight of the day. That is such a cool addition to our Star Trek collection.